Dodrio is looking to run around the map and deal heavy damage. Let's talk about how. The important thing to take away with Dodrio is you have two types of attacks. You have standard attacks and speedy attacks. All of your speedy attacks have an additional effect and you become a speedy attack just by running around and filling up this charge meter whenever you're moving. It's very important as Dodrio that you don't stop moving. Early game, you'll have Peck, which does damage, and if it's a speedy move, you're going to dash to deal that damage. The other early game move is Quick Attack, which sees you do a quick attack. At level five, you can opt into Tri Attack, which is a cone attack that deals damage. This damage also reduces enemy attack, enemy attack speed, and enemy movement speed. If this is a speedy attack, instead of it being a cone, it becomes a line. The other level five option is Drill Peck. This move just does damage in front of Dodrio. If this is the speedy version of the move, then it becomes a super long dash ability that is going to pick up any enemy Pokemon that you are hitting and drag them with you. At level seven, you can opt into agility, which makes you immune to all hindrances and charges up your speedy gauge really fast. The other level seven option is jump kick, where you're going to jump and then kick. You can use this to leap over walls, but whenever you come into contact with something on the initial jump, you are going to be able to kick to slam down, which is going to deal more damage to opposing Pokemon. Finally, for Dodrio's Unite move, you are going to set a mark on the map. You are going to sprint towards that mark, knocking up everything that you hit. Once you arrive at your location, your attack is increased and you gain a shield. So that's what the abilities do. How do you go about playing this Pokemon? Your whole life revolves around the sprint mechanic. You do not do a lot of damage unless your sprint is active. As such, you should never be standing still as Dodrio. Once your sprint meter is charged, you can actually get in there and do some damage. But it is incredibly easy to catch a Dodrio. My preferred moveset is try attack and jump kick. I like having the line attack to attack from a range, though I will say drill peck is a lot of fun and it's probably the better move because it does a ton of damage and the displacement and ability for it to just pick apart a fight is insane. I also have to point out that despite the fact that Dodrio scores in a unique way where you break up your total scoring into three different chunks, that does not cause all of the stacking items to stack three times per score. As mentioned earlier, you need to be the true assassin. Let your team engage, let your team weaken the enemy, and you're going to swoop in from the bushes to finish off targets that are at about 70% health or less. I cannot stress enough that you should not be fighting one-on-one -on -one as this character unless you have a tremendous lead, and even then, you can probably be doing better things with your time. The Unite move is a great way to engage and set yourself up nice for more damage with Tri Attack or major displacement with Drill Peck. The range on the Unite move is very, very nice. So you're gonna be able to use that to get to exactly where you wanna be in the team fight so that you can do the most with your abilities. Another piece of advice is to not use regular auto attacks as Dodrio. Run around, keep your sprint gauge up, and then those attacks become boosted dash attacks that are much nicer and allow you to finish off opponents. If you wanna keep learning more Pokemon Unite with me right now, click the video on your screen and it'll take you to another guide. Otherwise, subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna make more Pokemon Unite content soon. Wherever you are, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.